one guard there, one guard here. Actually, we're gonna take out the bow. Dwarven bow. We're gonna drop these dudes. Nice. And the other guy didn't notice. Welcome back to our latest Dead is Dead run. Uh, this time it's going to be featuring Salandria, our Bosmer Archer. So a little bit of a skill overview. We're going to be going into smithing, one-handed, marksman, evasion, sneak, and lockpicking for our character. They're going to be a sort of hunter rather than, you know, like something like a thief. Um, I did take, however the Blessing of Kinareth for additional um, bow and stamina damage, or additional bow damage and stamina. And then we also have Stone of the Shadow for increased sneaking and uh, some added muffle, as well as the ability to go invisible temporarily. So that is called Invoke Darkness. It costs 70 stamina. It's not a daily power anymore, and now it actually... Is it just kind of like an active we can have, but it costs a ton of stamina and it only gives us one second of invisibility. So it does blind enemy creatures. I don't know really how that works, but I think we can use this in combat to kind of um, re stealth and escape, evade, you know, get, get out of dodge if we do get spotted by only like, you know, one or two enemies. So currently we're chilling outside of Riften. We're uh, somewhere in the rift. I chose a random start. Um, I think we're just a little bit west of Riften, so we can we can just head there immediately. I'm gonna exit the free camera, and this is our lovely Bosmer. She has just a hunting bow and an iron sword for supplies for armor. Not really much going on. I'm using a much more simple hairstyle, and I have these cute horns for Bosmers. So, yeah like in the get up and we're gonna just head out and uh, go to Riften. So something to note is that I did remove Magic Redone. Um, that was conflicting pretty heavily with three tweaks and, and even the mod author Nox mentions that it's incompatible completely with three tweaks due to the changes that three tweaks makes to spells. Particularly you know with regards to casting time. Basically, if we had three tweaks with Magic Redone, the Magic Redone spells would be way more powerful than originally intended because uh, three tweaks nerfs a lot of the vanilla spells pretty heavily, actually. And I just realized I have the HUD off, so I can't see my stam. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I even saw that coming towards me. Okay, we're just running. We're not going to fuck with a spider early. Like, once you get hit by the poison, you want to just get the hell out of dodge. We're not going to waste too much time. God damn. We have some very lovely weather right now in Riften. I just realized my grass doesn't move at all. Oh my god. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Wonder if I could persuade him. Yes, I'm not going to ask again. Don't you walk away from Oh whoa that hurt. What the hell? what this idiot is doing. Fuck you. He was just running around. He didn't really want to attack me there for some reason. Oh, he's got some good armor and some strange meat, so... Overall, that wasn't the worst, but I almost died. <laughs> Did not expect to run into this asshole early. We'll eat the strange meat immediately. Switch the armor. I want to use daggers instead of a uh, sword. Ah, 
man. We're low enough that it's actually debuffing our speed, so that's kind of a pain in the ass. I need some blue mountain flowers to uh, chew on. Get a little bit of health back. I have to really hope there's no wolves um, outside of Riften that try to fuck me up. So as a Bosmer, we can actually dabble in a little bit of alchemy without any perks in it, um, which is fantastic. I'm probably going to use it just to make some basic potions, but we're not going to go too deep into alchemy because alchemy is gay. Sorry, let me rephrase. Alchemy is uh, anti-fun. I did not mean that in a derogatory sense. So we're going to head in through the um, the back entrance, and, and not this back entrance, this is the southwest entrance, we're going to head through the southeast entrance, um, that one is abandoned, sometimes it has wolves though, so you do have to be careful, you could run into wolves and die here, if we're not careful, oh man, I'm, <laughs> I'm so low, it's crazy, <sighs> That's that son of a bitch highway man really fucked us up. Who have invoked darkness? If worse came to worse, I would just invoke darkness and make a run for the entrance. And again, if you're not familiar with um, these changes and all the passes and stuff, that's from Three Tweaks. Uh, my previous video showcased a little bit of Three Tweaks combat, and uh, I did leave a link for the web page as well as the Nexus mod page if you're interested. Oh, we're gonna go to the Apothecary first. Pretty much our first stop. people in here what's what's Alessandra doing in here does she have come to laugh at the grave tent I think if you're she gives ask, me a dagger anyone around here look I didn't ask for this job I got stuck with it thank I'd like to I believe once it's in I hadn't done here I'm in I was right the dagger. I don't remember what kind Bring of dagger it is Anders and he'll take care of the How rest does it cost to heal my wounds of course she does it for free be cautious the whoa okay you're interested in I didn't realize that. And Damn, that was awesome. That actually really helped us out a lot. Did he sell? No healing poultices? Come on, man. Really? For realsy? We're just gonna buy a ton of healing potions. Ah, I should have bought a potion of regen, actually. Fuck. We'll, we'll have money for it after. Yes, yes, goodbye. I'll pick up the quest, too, from half your order. In fact, you would. I want to I want to kind of streamline gameplay here. Really, just want to get more experience than anything else. So, we're probably gonna be oh, it's the same as an iron dagger. Damn, I'm sad. I don't know why. I thought it would be better. I want to just get practice in on three tweaks and on dead is dead. I haven't really been playing dead is dead in a while, so that's kind of the main reason why. We have our healing potions. Um, just gonna pop one immediately. And I went into X Edit and found out that you know even if you remove realistic AI detection from Wildlander, it still keeps the changes um, within the Wildlander ESP. So you have to edit that as well um, if you want to properly remove it. We 
we're gonna go into the rat ways. Okay, so I, I cut real fast so that I could show, uh, or I could adjust the dynamic weather and time detection values, made sure that everything is pretty much 70% minimum, and then above that, um, for all of the values based on weather. So it's not gonna affect things too severely, I hope. Uh, and then ultimate combat, oops. Made sure these are all zero. So I'm not getting any bonus headshot damage. Um, I, w I did have that set to 1.0 earlier, or 1.3 actually, and I was doing so much damage with headshots, it was insane. Uh, but right now our bow does 32 damage with 62 damage arrows, and we do have muffle from Stone of the Shadows, so that actually makes sneaking significantly easier. Like, so much easier, actually, with three tweaks. Okay, we can actually be pretty stealthy early on. Like, look at this idiot. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why that freezes in the air when he dies. That's a little bit odd. So I did do this earlier. Um, where I was using my Bosmer for Dead is Dead, and things were a little bit too easy um, due to the headshot multiplier from Ultimate Combat and the, uh... oh yeah, this. so if you use realistic AI detection, which is built in with Wildlander, and you want to take it out, you have to make sure to go into wildlander.esp and remove all of the changes, um, which are forwarded over from realistic AI detection. Otherwise, you're not actually going to remove anything when you take out the mod. So, so stealth was like unbelievably easy because of that mod, in my opinion at least. So now, it's a lot. It's harder. It's more realistic, in my opinion, in terms of being closer to the requiem values or the exact requiem values. But it still, is not that hard if you have muffle, which Stone of the Shadow gives us right off the bat. So we're very, we're very quiet, especially as Bosner. This is awesome. So don't forget to equip the ring. Could wear these two just in case. I wonder if I can actually... We're going to try to sneak up on this lady. I have to remember to like... Actually... Yeah, we're just going to hold control. We're going to just slow walk. Yeah, see, they don't even notice us. No money. Ooh, three times damage. One shot. Very good. This person has no armor on, though, so... It's not exactly hard. And that's the route ways. Easy peasy. Very, very, very easy. With Stealth Archer. We're going to be playing more of a stealth archer early on where, you know, I'm just too afraid to take a lot of risk. But as soon as we get the ranger perk and we can move around while uh, drawing our bow, we can go into open combat. Really, that's one of the most crucial parts. So if you don't know, marksman tree. I'm pretty sure this is in by default. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is in by default and not part of special feats. If it is part of special feats, I apologize. Ranger allows you to run while attacking with light bows and crossbows. This perk is essential to playing as an archer in open combat. If you're going to be a sneak archer, not that useful, you know, because you don't need to move around while you're shooting, but it is pretty much the do or die of a, a regular marksman build. I want to make sure to have that torch out in case I need it. So we're going to go a little further in so we can get more stuff. These rats are so stupid. See, I, you know, I don't know if that's just... Where is this skeever? I really don't know if I still didn't completely fix all the changes. But it does feel like the AI is... Oh, wait, it's still alive. I just running, I don't really care. <laughs> that skeever was like a cockroach, it just stood still. And I didn't notice it. 
was still alive. I don't hear any movement. Huh. Yeah, I see one. I think we can kill her through here. Nope. Yep. That arrow bounced off her head. No, there's more people here. Creep up over here. I think I hear some movement on my left inside this room. stupidly easy hmm I don't know that was kind of just as easy as it was last time I'm gonna take all the free money Duh. so in this chest if you don't know what makes the ratways such a valuable area especially if you're an archer it's in three tweaks at least. Uh, in, in regular Requiem, this bow is not going to be nearly as good, but. I don't know. Draven's bow is in this chest. Which is a guaranteed spawn. There we go. And in three tweaks, that shit's a dwarven bow. 119 damage. Insane. 21 points of fire damage. Insane. This thing will kill armored enemies super easy early on. Like normally, one of the issues with Stealth Archer is that you're going to have a hard time stealth killing heavy armored enemies. But with this, I mean, this is an armor breaker. This is an armor piercer. This thing is going to just crush heavy armor. So, like I'm not trying to meta too hard, but I literally spawned in the roof. So, we're going to take it. And I'm just going to keep that on standby if I run into dudes with heavy armor. Now it is a heavy bow, so it's much, much slower than a than a light bow, and we're not gonna get the benefit of Ranger for that type of weapon, but at the same time, you know, it kinda doesn't matter because if we're stealth killing, they're not gonna get the react anyway. Oh nice. That was super worth. We got a healing poultice. We can pop that. That'll top our health off. Do these guys have anything? I don't think they did. I don't know why. Sometimes my bow is misaligned. Like, I can tell that there's no way the crosshair is aligned with the bow. It's actually really bad because I usually use the tip of the arrow to align my shot. Does Lady have anything? Ooh, really poultice. Awesome. Okay, so uh, we didn't get a, you know, we didn't get any good, like, glass light bow from the, the first bandit in the cave, which sometimes can happen. If you're lucky, but uh, we did get the dwarven bow, so that's fantastic. Oh, I forgot about these elven gauntlets of wielding. Ooh. Okay, that's pretty crazy. That's pretty nutty. 18% damage too. They're practically peerless. Almost forgot about this chest too. So yeah, pretty much. If you're gonna do permadeath, or even if you're not doing permadeath. If you want to start off in Riften, there's plenty of good gear that you can get within the Ratways. Um, there's almost not a, not a reason to go here if you start out in Riften, because there's just so much good shit you can get to start your adventure. We have our uh, Ring of Recuperation, given 20% stamina regen. This is random. You can get at most like 50% if you're super lucky. We got Elven Gauntlets Wielding. I don't know if it's a random enchant on these gauntlets, and the type of gauntlets is random too. Um, but you can usually get at least an enchanted light armor piece and then an enchanted weapon as well, as well as Draven's bow, which is fire enchanted. So, especially for three tweaks, uh, this is just like a fantastic way to start off a character. Really 
you're at. So yeah, we're gonna hot key Draven's bow. We're not gonna give it back to him, not for a while. <laughs> I'll give it back to him when the enchantment is used up. There's also um, some other places you can get free bows. Like for example, I believe the um, Broken Helm, Broken Hollow. Oh, fuck, I, for I actually forget. Blood Throne, Blood Throne, Blood King Throne. I forget the name name location. I'll probably talk about it later on. Uh, if I ever go near Riverwood, um, there is an area kind of towards Falkreath where you can get a free bow that's enchanted. And then um, in the Grey Winter Watch, there's Froki's bow, which, I mean, it's not great per se, but it's certainly not bad. It has a stamina drain enchantment, I think. And you can get that for free if you're Bosmer because you can just use your active ability, uh, Command Animal to pacify the troll inside the cave. If there's two trolls, you have to run away from one, but I mean, that's not a big of a deal. If we go white run, I'll, I'll probably show how to get it. Okay, so how much gold do we have? 914, good. We're gonna go straight back to um, Elgrim's Elixirs. And what we're going to want to do is purchase um, some potions. So we want to get um, Potion of Regen. This is huge. And we want a Tonic of Stamina. Also huge. Quite expensive. Costs most of, costs most of our money. Um, I'm going to go sell some stuff to the blacksmith. weapons and armor. If you need any um, sometimes you can actually check over here in the courtyard. And yep. There's this young gentleman, Harold, who you can talk to. If you must you can mock him and then he'll tell you to get his blade for him. Thank you. Super easy little miscellaneous quest. And all you have to do is go to Balamond again. And get the sword. Repair, purchase, lazy. Here's the sword. Tell Harald to stop slaying walls. If this isn't about official took your here you go for your trouble. Now and there you go. Some free gems. Not a lot of money, but certainly not bad. Because it's free. We're gonna go check our missives. Oh boy. These are shit. I don't remember what Pine Peak Cavern is. I think I think that's an animal den. I'm almost certain. Ah, shut up, Maul. I don't care about you. We're just gonna head out. We are gonna make our way over to... Fort Greenwall. I wanna avenge my, uh, my previous character, Siege. We're gonna be doing this at daytime, so it might be a little bit tough, but we'll see. Let's check our buffs. So, oh, we ran out of our meat already. Oh, no, 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 it's about to run out. Let me reset it. That lasts for, wow, it has a good duration on it, 17 minutes. Uh, I could have bought more arrows. Actually, that might have been a good idea to buy some better arrows so I could take out the armored dudes better. But we're going to go in through the uh, right flank. Thirsty. We're 
we're gonna kind of just rush in through the right flank. I have to be pretty wary of enemy archers. can just yeah I can oh it's a little bit stuck okay now I do have to sprint onto the sledge so I see one guard there one guard here actually we're gonna take out the bow the dwarven bow we're gonna drop these dudes Nice. And the other guy didn't notice. I can't help but wonder if I didn't actually remove everything from a realistic AI detection. Let's see if I can hit this shot. Ooh. I missed? What? Where the fuck is my shot going? I have no clue where my arrow was going there. That's two guards out. Oh, has, see, how does that guy not see me? Oh. <laughs> and they don't even hear the shot, too. That's the bizarre part. I don't know, man. Why are these mods... They make sneaks so easy. Oh my fucking god. They don't even react if I miss. Like, what the hell's going on? Now, ain't this a surprise? Oh, I missed. Whoops. Ah, oh, man. This is just so easy. They're just so stupid, the, the AI. I swear, dude. It's really weird because in normal Requiem, like, usually if you aggro one, you aggro everyone. But for some reason, these dudes are just so stupid. Oh, what? He just stopped and he didn't even hear my arrow. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, he's running. I didn't expect him to run. Boom. I'm actually surprised I'm one-shotting everyone, but then again, they're in a uh, light armor. I haven't seen any uh, heavy armored dudes, and the, the guys that were heavy armored were at the entrance that I took out. I think there's only one dude left, and he's in there. See, he, he noticed us. That's so weird how he noticed us. Oh my god, why would you just slow down randomly? That did no damage. He still doesn't know where I am. What is this guy doing? Okay, now he knows where I am. All right, let's let's fight him. Mono e mono. Oh god, he's got dwarven armor. I'm just I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, man. I'm gonna cheese your ass. Yeah, we're not gonna fight fair if he's in full dwarven. This guy was stacked. Okay, so I'm kind of
kind of curious. Kind of curious how I can play this part. I'm gonna save. <laughs> I want to use Evoke Darkness to make big plays, but man, I know I'm gonna fuck this up. Let's try. Is it just one guy? Oh, I, I thought it was two dudes. Alright, well, so much for that. Out, stupid. Ooh, diamond necklace. How wonderful. <laughs> okay, well, things have been stupidly easy so far. Like, let me know if you guys are having this easy of a time with Stealth Archer in Wildlander. I don't know if if dynamic, even with the changes I've made, if it makes the stealth that easy still, like, because it's not even there's, it's clear weather right now, so it shouldn't even be affecting anything. Uh, I don't know. Pick out this archer here. Where the heck are my arrows and bow? <laughs> I don't know. So weird how my quiver is missing. I've never seen that happen before. <laughs> the jumping backstab. Uh, we could take a crossbow, honestly. How much carry weight are we at? We still have good carry weight. I'll take a crossbow. We'll preload it. So pro tip for archers, if you really want, you can bring a crossbow with you alongside a bow. And this is a great backup if you need to, you know, quickly pull off a shot on someone. So in the event that, you know, we shoot somebody, then they aggro and they run towards us, we don't want to rack another arrow. So we're just going to switch to the crossbow and get a quick pot shot off. He gave up. <laughs> he just straight gave up. Ah, son of a gun. It's just so odd how even if I aggro dudes, like, it doesn't alert anyone else. Like, look, how do they not see me? I'm literally in light. Let's see if this one shots. Woohoo! Sure does. Oops. Venom of a spider. Is that still the same as I remember? It does zero damage. What? Why does it do zero damage? Because I have no points in alchemy, maybe? But it's, I think it still paralyzes, though. That's huge that it paralyzes. We can use that to take care of specific enemies early on that might pose a huge threat to us. Ooh, an Orcish Dagger. Wait a minute. 103 damage. What? The fuck? Huh? I know Orcish weapons do increase damage if they have, like, light armor on or something. But that's insane. Yeah, I think it does massively reduce damage if they have heavy armor. We'll see. I'm gonna sneaky sneak. Oh shit, or not. Does he even see me? He doesn't even see me! What? What? What's wrong with this game? You don't see me. 
<laughs> Dang. That's pretty gnarly. I for real slit her throat out. Uh, he still doesn't see me. He doesn't even react. Okay, he reacted. I don't even... Does he have a crossbow? What? What are you doing, man? Bro, they're so blind and stupid. Is Muffle that broken? Like... How much Muffle do I get? 50% I think, right? Let's check. So our movement noise is 57%. That's pretty good, actually. But it just... Them not even reacting to the arrows really is bizarre as hell. Like, something's wrong. Something has to be wrong. At least I feel like something has to be wrong. I don't know. Maybe it's supposed to be that way. So bizarre, dude. Huh, is there always a potted plant here? Okay, um, we're gonna go ahead and do the rest of Fort Greenwall in the other side now. Did I loot this guy? Nope. I think we have too much strange meat on us. We have 14. That is way too much. We only need... We only need, like, a few or several. Like, I don't want to ever run out of strange meat, but at the same time, I don't really need that much strange meat. It's so bizarre. We still haven't really been detected yet. Kind of having to do the uh, the classic strat of just running past them while they attack, because even though they have rotation on attack, you can sprint faster than they can turn. Oh yeah, I remember this note that I read in my last playthrough. Uh, we're just gonna leave that for now. We could we could try to fight these spiders. I'm not really down for that, but. I have a feeling that with this bow we can actually kill them. Look, they don't even see us. Where the heck's the rest of them? Oh, I see now. Live with one health, really? Where is the other one? I hear at least one more. There it is. Big one. Oh, that did nothing. Oh, that did nothing. Oh, that did nothing. Wait, it didn't even aggro. Dude, what is going on? Is, is Stone of the Shadow broken? Or is my game just fucking broke? I don't know. 
My god, is this so easy. I, I should really do a test run where I don't have Zone of the Shadow. And see how much of a difference that makes. It could be my muffle is insane. But I somehow doubt it. I somehow think that the detection is just completely fucked. Dude, he still doesn't even know where I am. What the heck's going on? Oh, maybe now. No? Huh. How bizarre. Ooh, ooh. Well, that was worth. Some scrolls? I'll gladly take that. Uh, let's extract venom. I just want venom. One more spider. I like this kind of puddle of uh, green blood below it. Where is the venom? Okay, so we got venom of the spider again. So we can paralyze. Ooh. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that on my dagger. Because I'm going to need... I'm going to need that paralysis for the boss. I don't know what the boss is going to be. I hope it's not a bandit that has a... I hope it's not an arcane trickster. That would really suck. That would suck so much ass. We're going to have Spirit Wolf on standby if we need it. I'll pop a health potion just to be safe. Actually, didn't need to use a health potion. I had healing poultice that I didn't use this whole time. Because I'm just memeing. Where's the boss? Dude, it's so weird how they just don't aggro. I kill their friends and they don't even care. They don't hear it, they don't fucking react. Okay, I hear her on the right. Oh my god, died instantly in one shot. Are you kidding me? What? What's wrong with this game? <laughs> okay, well, maybe we'll end it here. I cleared out um, Fort Greenwall with literally just super easily. I was gonna say relative ease, but it's it was free. Like, let's be honest. Anyone could do that. Let's double check this guy. So, I mean, we got 2,300 gold. That's juicy. Oh, I didn't even open the chest. Nice. <laughs> we got a ton of Explorer's Potions, which I can use for carry weight and regen of stamina. So I that's basically the Potion of Insight. Because we're using um, SXP as our EXP mod, I just changed it so that they give carry weight and stamina regen so we can have less time out of combat, less time worrying about, you know, dropping shit, managing inventory. Um, well, we got 30k XP. Holy shit. Awesome, dude. That's a level. That's a fucking level. So, I think we're gonna put points in a bit. Oh, no, it's 25 already. Why is our evasion 25 already? That seems a little high, no? I don't know if Wildlander nerfs skill, base skill bonuses by a little bit, so that- because it gives you, like, plus 10 to every skill. But I, I haven't played Bother in a while, so maybe plus, maybe they start with 15 evasion default. I know they start with like 20 marksmen by default. What's our marksman actually? Our marksman. Where the fuck is marksman? What? Isn't marksman supposed to be like right here? Wait a minute. Oh, there's marksman. Okay. I don't know why it's in the thief skill. Um. Hmm, I don't even know what to level up right now, or what to prioritize. I think we prioritize Marksman, just become OP. Yeah? Actually, I want to level up though. What can I put skills in early? Smithing, we can put some in Smithing. One, two, three, four, 
five. And then you can put a point in lock picking and then marksman. I want to guarantee a level up. Oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> As I say that. Oh, actually, I forgot with X SXP we can, um, where is, I swear there's a hotkey that you can set for it somewhere. Here it is. Uh, we'll put that on, put that on that key. So we can... We can't even level up one-handed yet. What can we level up for free? Speech. Oh, how come it doesn't disable? Oh no, what's going on? Oh no! <laughs> what the hell? Oh, I have to press the button again. I can't just escape out of it. That's fine. Uh, that should be a level, right? No? What? Maybe the level formula is harder. What the fuck? How did I not get a one? I didn't even get one single level yet? Damn. Alright, well, we're gonna cut it here. I'll try to investigate and test. Could be the Stone of the Shadow that's busted, but if it's not, then we're gonna stick with this for now. So yeah, easy peasy sneak archer. Uh, we'll do some combat archery as soon as I get the ranger perk, but for now, I'm gonna be most, mostly sneak archer. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next one.